Hello, hello, hello. Today we're talking about water distillers versus the air still. Now I get a lot of messages from people saying that uh, they're interested in buying a, a water distiller instead of an air still to save some money and what do I think? So I thought I'd do a bit of research and uh, see what's out there. They're all typically the same. Um, so I bought this one. I'm not going to say where I bought it from because it doesn't actually matter. Um, and I thought I'd have a bit of a play with it. Now, I haven't actually switched it on. Well, I've switched on in the sense that I've had it running with some water. I've not run a wash through it, and to be honest, I'm not going to be running a wash through it. Um, it I'm just not going to. So, pros, cons, why, what, and how. The only reason someone would want to consider getting a water distiller and using it for uh, uh, alcohol, spirit distilling, is to save money. And that's the sole reason, and I'd personally recommend you do not do it. The reason why is quite simple. Um, there are a couple of factors, but the main thing is the air still is has been designed by Steel Scripts for many years, and they do a really, really, really good job. Um, they're rated at 320 or 340 watts. So I've seen ones with different wattages, and that works really well. Most water distillers are built with a 800 watt heating element. So as you can see, that's a hell of a lot of difference. Now the problem with that is, while it's nice that it can get to temperature a lot quicker than the air still, the issue is that once you start uh, getting into the, the area where you're, you're distilling, obviously you're gonna be getting methanol and, and sulfur and other bits that you don't want on there, which are called obviously the, the four shots. Then after that, you'll get some heads where it's just like some other, uh, other minerals and bits and pieces. Then you'll get to the hearts. And at the end, obviously, you'll get to the tails, which is the, the bad bits also, bits you don't particularly really want. You want to keep it in that heart stage for as long as possible. And you do that by regulating the heat. So the air still, because it takes a while for it to get to temperature, once you're at the right temperature, obviously, it's going to take a while for it to leave that area as well. And that's why it works well. Whereas with its 800 watt heating element, it's shooting to get there, great, but then it's shooting straight through. So it'll be harder for you to take cuts. Your, the, the different uh, areas will be bleeding together. So you're gonna get off flavors and things like that. And generally it's just not gonna be good. And that is the main reason I would say do not buy one of these. Um, it's a lovely idea, but just no. Now you could say, well, I'll put a power controller, an SCR on it. So I can actually then buy this 800 watt but then lower it down to 300 watt. Think, well, if you can do that, carry on. Yeah, sure. Most people don't have the ability to or don't know how to. Um, plus you've got the issue is some of these, like this one here, have a, a microcontroller where you actually dial in what temps you want to get to and how long to, to, to get there for, or to keep there for. And if you put an SCR before this, like on the plug, that's not gonna work, therefore the heaters aren't gonna work. So you think you need to rip this out or put an SCR between, after that, between the heating element, which will just get messy. But these are quite tight. There's not much room in there. It's not like a T500. So again, it's just gonna cause you hassle. So while these sometimes can be half the price, I personally get one of these. Now the other things, now, uh, obviously well, I'm explaining this model here that I bought. Um, I'm not saying that all models are gonna be the same as this. They're gonna be a bit different, but the Steel Spirits come, uh, Air Still comes with a resettable manual thermostat. Now, what that means is when this gets to 120 degrees or above, the thermostat will trip, which will stop electricity getting to the heating element. That should only happen if it boils dry, meaning obviously all the liquid's gone. What happens is you get to around about 80 degrees, or let it cool to about 80 degrees Celsius, and you can push that button, reset, and it kicks back in again. Great. These have an automatic thermostat. So once it gets to 80, it will rearm itself, power electricity, get to 120, and it's just gonna keep bouncing up between the two temperatures, which isn't particularly very good. This one does have a safety feature where you have to set how long to heat for uh, between one and 10 hours. So you know that obviously it will stop after a while, but in all honesty, I, I like the manual. But it still works and it works well, so that's not an issue, not an issue at all. Now on the air still, you've literally just got the power in. So to, to switch it on, you push it in on the wall or fill the cable in and stop it, you pull the cable out of the wall. This one, however, you say not all models will have this. It's got an off switch, 
which is really nice. You can actually plug it in and switch it on and switch it off that way, or do the plug. It also comes in a inline fuse, which is also quite handy. So you've got one on your three pin plug, there's one here. But again, not all of them, and we'll have this. That's nice. Now, the bonus with the air still as well, is you've got two lugs inside here, and that's so you can install the botanical basket. And it slips in there nicely, so you can put your botanicals and you can make gins or other drinks. Uh, that's great, and it works really well. Unfortunately, I've not seen in the photographs of any sales pages of any third party water distiller having those lugs, so these will not fit in there. You see, it's completely wrong size as well. And this one actually has a plate over the, the inlet or the outlet, which is obviously where the vapor goes out. Um, so you can't do anything. Now, if you're doing um, gins or other drinks through maceration and you don't use vapor um, path for infusion, well, so that's not an issue for you then, is it? The other thing is spare parts. So after every use, you should really be taking this off and cleaning it. Um, Obviously, if this breaks, I can go to my local brewing shop and I can buy another one, or I can go to an online shop and buy one. Whereas with these, I very much doubt you can. Uh, the main reason being is different sizes. So obviously, this air still one is not going to fit on here. It's completely wrong size, completely wrong size. So will you be able to buy another ring from here? Possibly not. Um, so that's a bit of an issue. And there is sometimes cosmetics like the air still, it's been built well, it's smooth, everything is proportional, uh, and you can see it's, it's quality. Whereas a lot of these third parties, um, they're not so refined, let's say, um, but they still work. So there you go, that's all you really need to know. Um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting an air still every single time. Um, while, yes, you are talking potentially twice the price, you're also getting quality guaranteed quality and guaranteed you know if you've got an issue you can take this straight back to your brewing shop and they will then give you your money back or give you a replacement if you're buying this from um, a chinese firm or an importer um, you may struggle getting your money back uh, or getting a replacement if there are issues with it um, so yeah i would strongly recommend this obviously buy this if you want to but just be warned those overpowered heating elements, they really will cause you an issue when you're distil distilling, distilling. So uh, just be warned. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you found that informational and uh, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.